So Gary, fresh after a 56-12 victory against Workington, what are your immediate thoughts on the game? Obviously, absolutely delighted. You know, um, good, great result, great performance. Um, I'm not saying when the finished article, there were still some things we need to brush up on, but uh, I have to be pleased with that. I thought, you know, from 1-17, to 17, I thought the players today were really, really good and executed our game plan, showed some great desire defensively um, and kept a, a decent Workington side to, to two tries. So, yeah, lots to uh, lots to be happy about, lots to admire. A couple of things we need to tweak up, but um, I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to go too hard on the boys on that this week. The game plan something you'd worked on from when we were up there last time because it was quite a tough out in there. You come and work on a few things we can bring them over this time. Oh, listen, that was part of the preparation really. How disappointed we were when we went up there. You know, we we didn't have the spine of our team that day, and uh, and the conditions were, were were awful. But I think you know we spoke about that all week and how disappointed we were when we went to Workington and probably a little bit of payback. Um, and that was kind of the theme of the week really. That we you know we, we kind of thought we all. Working some one after after a poor showing up there, um, and I think that you know that that's inspired us. I think we got off to a fantastic start. Our enthusiasm levels were really high throughout. You know, defensively getting off the line and really cutting down Workington's uh, um, Workington's space. You know, they're a dangerous team when you got people like Jared Sammet in there. You know, they're going to be a threat and uh, and they've always got a real good pack of forwards. So we knew it was going to be um, it was going to be a challenging afternoon. But I, I thought the way we stood up to them defensively was superb today. Talk about forwards, good day to be a Rochelle Hornets forward today, quite a few got on the score sheet, was that something you worked on as well? Yeah, well, you know, we've, we, we, we knew if we, uh, if we got close to their line, we got enough power there, I was pleased for Nelmore to get his two tries today, you know, uh, off the nudie, so that's good for him. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, some, some, some of our tries were, were very good. Um, I, think that, I think it was a defensive effort, really. A couple of, couple of issues, you know, some penalties coming out when they were coming out of their backfield that disappointed me a little bit, because... You know, against 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 some sides, we could get punished for that. But um, you know, it, it, like I said, it wasn't a, a perfect performance, but it was a very very good one. You got a couple of lads on dual reg and loans. They both got on the score sheet. How, what does that mean going forward? Uh, well, you know, obviously, I mean, John Baldwinson's come in and, and done a, an excellent job for us. He's just back off a, off a major knee reconstruction, and, and uh, you know, thanks to Bradford for making him available. And he's he's come and trained with us and joined. You know, he's, he's a great lad. He's he's come and bought into everything that we're trying to do and. Um, and obviously, you know, we've, we've got Jack in from from Lee and and, uh, and Ollie, who's been here before. You know, Ollie Brooks came in from Witness when again coming back off an injury, and when we got offered Ollie, you know, we were more than happy to take him. He's been at the club previously and always done very very well for us. So, yeah, I was um, you know pleased they come in and they're, they're part of the club. You know, they're part of the team when they come in. They, you know, they've got great attitudes, and that's you know credit to their uh, their parent clubs. But yeah, they've come in and uh, really worked hard for us for us today, and um, you know part of the performance. So really pleased on that. And finally, just a word on Greg McNally. He got over in the corner for his Tony of Grey try. What does it mean to have him around? Oh, fan yeah, fantastic, Greg. You know, when we look at you know the last few games that we've not had Greg and, and Riddy earlier in the season, you know they're a massive miss. You know they, they they create tries and they score tries and fantastic achievement for Greg. I think he's had a superb career and we're we're really you know glad to have him here at Rochdale as part of our of our organisation. And I, I thought the value of, of, of him today was uh, was evident. You know and. Um, Fantastic achievement and really pleased for him and his family that you know that that's a major milestone for him and uh, well done.